I can't tell if it's on. It's hey! On. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dan Liberto, and it's our Monday Marriage Minute. Say hi, Jack. So, hi, hello, good afternoon, happy uh, Veterans Day, go hug a veteran. It's Memorial Day, she knew that. Oh, did I say Veterans Day? <laughs> and this is Jordan. Say hi, Jordan, wherever you are. Hi. There you go. Anyway, so what are we going to do right now? Talk about marriage. <laughs> and what are you going to do in a, bit, in a little while after we're done? Go get a mango smoothie. There you go. And we're going to have to get what, Jordan? What are we getting for you? A shaved, a shaved icy. <laughs> a shaved icy. Okay, so we'll walk and talk here. So today, is, as Jackie mentioned, is Memorial Day. And we are walking onto the town square here in Granbury, Texas where they do quite a show for Memorial Day. And what exactly is Memorial Day? Well, Memorial Day is where we remember all the fallen soldiers over all the campaigns in the, in the, in the last several, several, several war campaigns. So we had a lot of soldiers, a lot of men, a lot of women that through the years have done the the largest act of love and that is to sacrifice hey Carolyn that is to sacrifice for those of us so we can have the liberty and the freedom that we enjoy so we can walk around squares like this and we can buy ice cream cones and window shades and funny little umbrellas and all the other things that we do, listen to music, dance, and just have fun and enjoy life. So, so many people sacrifice their lives for our liberty and our freedom. And the question I have for you today is, is America worth fighting for? Apparently they thought it was. They absolutely thought it was worth fighting for because they gave the ultimate sacrifice and that was their life. And so, America's worth fighting for, but what about your marriage? See, so many of us, you know, you can't really control where you were born, right? But there's so many people that are just fighting and going through all kinds of incredible obstacles and trials and tribulations to get here to the United States, the land of milk and honey, so to speak. The land of huge opportunity. And so many people realize that and they're coming in droves to, uh, to enjoy what we do, the, the wonderful opportunities. And so America is worth fighting for, if for no other reason than so we can hold up this beacon for other people so other people can also have the opportunities that we were born into you know they they weren't fortunate enough to bo to be born into it but but we were and so if no other reason we need to fight for this country so it will remain that bastion that 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 shining beacon of light on the hill that calls out to other people to other nations to people in horrible situations and show them that they there is hope there is hope there is hope there's a better way there's a better life and so we continue to fight for the freedoms and liberties that we have and it's unique right here in the United States it's unique because there's no other there's no other country in the world like the United States and again we have so many people that want to pull us down because they don't like our our success they don't like where we are uh, but there's also so many people that want to hold us up and that want to fight for us and so I'm certainly one of those people but now I want to turn to the marriage well because this is Monday marriage minute so here's my here's my big question for you you stepped into a relationship whenever you did one year five years ten years like in our case 27 years ago you stepped into that marriage relationship and at the time you stepped into it, you committed, you gave an oath, you gave your word that you were going to deal death to you part, right? And so it was a ideal, it was something that you really wanted to live, something you wanted to have longevity. But that was then, this is now. You're down the road a little ways, things get a little bit hard, 
you don't always agree on everything. You're not flushing with, um, um, you're not enamored with everything each other says. And so, hey, Kelly. And so, what do you do now? What do you do now? Things are getting a little bit more difficult, right? Now it's time that you have to make a decision that what you did, the decisions you made, and the oath that you took so back, so far, so far back when you got married, that still stands. That's still your word. That's still part of your brand. And so now it's time when things aren't perfect. It's time to fight. It's time to fight for your marriage. It's time to fight for your family. And here's why: just like with your country. It's so important that we maintain the liberty and freedoms we have here because it's a beacon of light to the world around us. It's hope. Well, your marriage is a beacon of light to your children and to your neighbors and to your, to your extended family and to your communities and to your churches and to your uh, business and to your employees and to your coworkers, to your bosses. That's what it is. That's what this is all about. Your marriage is that type of beacon of light you model that for the world. So now I ask you, now that you know the influence you have, you can have in your community and in your church and in your business and in your schools, now that you understand the influence you can have, my question to you is, is that beacon of life? Is that relationship that you said uh, you made a resounding yes to on your wedding day? Is that relationship, is that growing relationship, is it worth fighting for? Well, I say yes, and I do each and every day, because each and every day there's attack on my marriage, on your marriage. And so we need to realize that these attacks are out there. We need to be vigilant, just like we are with our country, just like we have national defense with our country. There's somebody else standing on the wall to protect you and me here in, in the United States. And I'm very appreciative of that. But you know what? You and I need to stand on that wall for our children because I guarantee you someday they're gonna be very appreciative of it. That's my family man experience. I say it's worth fighting for. I'd like for you guys, if you would, put me a comment on here. Put me a comment on here and say, hey, I watched this live and I'm ready to fight each and every day. Or I watch this on the replay, and I'm ready to fight each and every day. Show me your intent. Show me how important marriage is to you, that you are ready to fight each and every day to be that beacon of light. All right, that's Dan Liberto. That's my family man experience. I appreciate you guys joining me. I'm gonna go to Kokomo now, apparently. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye now.